Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Yesterday, another second assassination attempt on former President Donald Trump occurred in Florida at one of his golf courses. Um, well, I have a few points on this attempt, and I will go one by one. Uh, after I'm going to reveal a few titles from some articles. And uh, it's interesting how they uh, frame the whole issue. So, here, the first one is from Time. Time faces another assassination attempt. What we know. Oh, well, what we know. Obviously, we know that uh, just two months, two assassination attempts occurred. And it says that uh, it was foiled by authorities on Sunday at Trump International Golf Court in West club in West Palm Beach, Florida. Trump was unharmed and the suspect who fled the scene was arrested. Politicians across the pop up up. So what happened? This guy showed with an AK-47 with a scope. Supposedly he went in some bushes on the premises um, of the core, uh, golf course and um, he was spotted by a, and this is a, a very important point, by the secret services who redeemed themselves by seeing the gun pointed out coming out of the bushes and the secret service uh, engaged with fires shots fires fire shots against this barrel coming out of the bushes so the secret service is not the one that was blamed and you know looked down in the previous assassination attempt when they failed completely this time they were fantastic so the barrel coming out of the all right the guy jumped the fence got into into his uh, truck or suv i think it was and he started driving he was apprehended obviously nearby and then he was taken into custody live and well now uh, the first point secret service very good all right, second one. The guy had something that um, I mentioned for many, many, many times before, which is the chicken come back to roost. Is that how it is? I said this many times, and this is just the beginning. I will make my point in a few moments. Let's go over what uh, we know about this guy. So again, hiding in the bushes, secret service, AK-47 with a uh, scope, secret service person opened fire, the guy ran away, okay, he fled the scene, and he was apprehended on a highway on Martin County. All right, and then he was taken into custody. Next one, I would like to show you. So you would think that this is a, I mean, it's a very big deal, isn't it? This, um, I have this article at 7.40 a.m., obviously that happened yesterday on the, um, on the 15th so this is a yahoo page and this is a trending i want to like it to in the trending box right here trending now what do you see do you see here in the first 10 we find out that tito jackson died at 70. Ooh, this perverts met again right here oh we got the game it's hot man it's hot none in the first 10 you see this do you think that this should be the first one or the second one, what does that tell you? Well, it could tell you uh, many things, but the most uh, obvious, I think, um, the media uh, promotes a certain kind of narrative and the population is interested in many, many other things than that, which should be very important, don't you think? Well, let's go to the next article here, coming from the Russians, obviously. Latest assassination attempt on Donald Trump, what we know so far. What's this? A pro Kiev activist. So yes, this guy wanted to recruit pe recruit people to take them. Uh, leave it like this. To go to fight in Ukraine, he was a pro Ukrainian, uh, and he wanted to recruit them into the so called foreign, not foreign legion, international legion volunteer. But he wanted to go and fight as well, but as you can see, he was a little bit too old. He was an activist. It's very interesting because so far they don't they. The media don't show us his connections with anybody but i have two hints to give you 
he gave two interviews. How many interviews have you uh, given to any, any media outlets in your life? In your life. I personally didn't give any. Yet. So, uh, I mean, I gave, but unrelated to my political views. Let's put it this way. It was related to some other stuff. And that was not because personally I had to say something. I was associated with something else. All right, let's move on. What will you find here? So, ba ba ba, bi bi bi, bu bu bu. I'm going to the back here. And here's what you have two interviews with Newsweek. He told Newsweek, how in the hell? And then the same thing I said many times the fight in Ukraine is about good versus evil. These guys are, have a bipolar worldview and that's it. They have no nuances. I said about Kamala Harris, Donald Trump, political system, Ukraine, Putin and the West. They are maneuvered, conditioned to think only in good, not in between good and bad a little bit, or and evil. It's nothing that we have good and evil, more or less. It's a proportion, you know. Uh, no, it's just, or a mixture, if you want, like yin and yang. Here, no, it's just a good and evil. My point here is this guy was interviewed not only by the Newsweek, but as well as the semaphore. So what do you think about this one? So he was interviewed again two times by, I would say the Newsweek is important. I would say that semaphore is important. Do you think that these guys just pick people from the picket line over there, whatever it is, and they say, hey, come over here. What is the coincidence? What are the odds that you pick the same guy in two, two different media outlets? What are the odds? And again, get the odds on you how many times you were interviewed by the media just picked. So he was picked, he was promoted. I think that he, we will find out later, he belonged to a group that yet is very uncomfortable for some political forces to be revealed. Now, let's move on. Obsessed with Ukraine. Obviously, this is Russia today, and we have to say that, right? The suspect was allegedly willing to fight and die for Kiev and tried to recruit volunteers to join him. And you go and see what he wanted to do. This is the guy while in custody right there. Now, we find out that he was before he was um, how do you call it? convicted of a uh, crime or felony. According to these guys, he possesses weapons of mass destruction. That was an automatic weapon. Okay weapons of mass destruction. So he was he had a felony uh, charge on and conviction on that one, but somehow he escaped, right? And you have him here with another picture with the Ukrainian flag and promoting and so on. So with Legion growth styling, pop up this is things that he wanted to promote. We have him here. So he was an activist, which is just fine, but be a smart one. And you know, what does that mean being smart one? Well, can be activists for some good things and some bad things. I'm not going to go over this. I'm going to go to the next one. What's known about this guy? So you're going to get used to with that picture. And the same pictures here. This is the locations of the shots fired. He ran, ran away. Again, shots fired. They give you an update. He was in custody. And what we know about this guy, according to Independent, he had an AK-47 and a GoPro. So he was trying to film all this little thing. The suspect was around 300 to 500 yards away from Trump at the time. And here he is, Ukraine and blood, I guess. I mean, it, you can have your own, uh, you can have your own convictions, like this one, criminal record, right? In 2002, he was convicted in Guilford County, North Carolina, on a felony count of possession of a weapon of mass destruction, according to the review state rec court records. And this guy had a um, automatic weapon. That's what he had. I already read that one. And uh, he lives in Hawaii, but he was in what? South Carolina, they said. North Carolina, I think he, he was a, he do his little things. All right, here's the guy, political, social uh, media post. Well, he was obviously against uh, Trump. Now, one point about um, 
I said that the chicken will come back to roost when I said that the Ukrainians where a lot, a, a lot of weapons are pouring into Ukraine right now and I think they're unaccounted. Therefore, they will end up in the hands of um, idiots and uh, criminals and not only criminals but cut cartels, so um, organized crime. And org organized crime groups will have their political and settling score or setting score among themselves. Therefore, they're gonna use juveniles, juveniles, if you remember those ones, it's very easy to use such a thing. And if you have them, you can uh, deal things with political figures, you can do that with, uh, I don't know, uh, bureaucrats, uh, people that you might not like, if these guys have them. And I said that could be employed in the near future in Europe, because from Ukraine to Europe is going to use immediately. Imagine a juvenile, and I'm predicting that, and predicting that that could happen, Idiots using it against airplanes at, ta at takeoff or landing. You'll see. You'll see. I'm waiting. Not that I'm, I want it to happen. I think it will happen because you're going to have people wanting. Okay. I want, for instance, look at uh, what's his name? Fico. Robert Fico. Another one of Slovakia. He was another assassination attempt. In, all right. And he escaped. And uh, that's one. They didn't like what he said and what they do, what they thought. And it was a gun. Now you imagine someone hits you from, I don't know, 500 yards. You don't even see, you know, with a juvenile, juvenile, juvenile. All right. That's just some examples. You have drones. You go with a drone with a something, you drop it right on top. How is Trump going to run that one? You know, go with a drone. Boom. If these guys could not figure out the guy on top of the roof, how is this guy going to be uh, defending, let's say, five drones in the same time coming? We're going to shoot them down quickly, bam, boom, and that, that's it. I'm just giving you what they have right now. It's just going to be a decision. Now they have AKs and scopes and they have this and that and the pistols nearby. But I'm guaranteeing you, not guaranteeing, I predict things will get worse. You're going to have uh, uh, some attacks in Europe and then they will ooze ever, uh, to... Uh, um, United States of America, clearly, and Canada. Another point, um, right here, let's go to over this one. Trump assassination attempt suspect said he had hoped to fight in Ukraine. Kremlin says Trump shooters Ukrainians links show playing with a fire has consequences. Right? That means, well, and here is the guy again, and this is nothing. So let's go and discuss a few things. First point. Have you seen? So I have you. Who are these guys and who are the ones attacked? Fico of Slovakia. He's not a left winger. He's a right winger, right? And he is attacked by whom? By the guys in the opposition. Uh, you can take him however you want. Pro Ukrainians, pro something, but. The guys outside of the right, the you know, remember these guys say that the right, uh, the far right is the most uh, dangerous and blah, blah, blah. Pizzo, far, far right, attacked by whom? By another crazy far, far right? Okay, let's say. Let's go to Trump twice by the same prototype, which is a cuckoo head. So three people, three people who don't even know how to use a gun, but anyway, they use it. Uh, three of them, why? It was a joke with some liberals. That what? That's why they don't own guns because they shoot themselves by, by, by mistake because they don't know how to operate them. Anyway, so these three guys shot shot three times at two right wingers, far right. So those guys, is it safe to say that they really were left wingers? Well, we don't know. But anyway, can we say they were pro Ukrainians? And who pushes the narrative? Well, both sides, the United States of America, if you think of it. But nevertheless, it's very interesting. Elon Musk made a joke on X and these guys are blasting him for making that joke. And the joke was, or the question, he asked the question. Now it's, it's wrong to ask questions. And I, I learned that on my own when I asked two questions and then I was spoken. Oh, what does it mean? I, said, I know that we teach our children that, how is that? No, uh, no question or is bad or something asking no asking question is nothing wrong or not about it or something like that 
Uh, there's nothing wrong with asking questions. That's how we supposedly teach our children, as long as they ask the wrong question. So Elon Musk said something is, did you notice that nobody tries this on Kamala Harris or Biden? And then the baboons on X said, oh my God, that's awful joke. Or um, uh, First, I don't think he instigated to anything. It was just an observation. He can ask a question with an observation. It doesn't mean ah, that's a veil. If I go by veiled, I can do a lot of things. But the fact that I have a white mouse, no, it's a veiled signal for everybody else that I love white and I don't like obviously something else. Why? So you can, uh, all right, don't assume uh, or um, put my intentions already or my thought about this uh, little, uh, how do they call them? Um, symbolistic signs this guy, this give. Anyway, this guy, that's another thing. How is it possible? So the redeeming of the secret services, this guy was obviously a supporter of Ukraine and he used or tried to use an AK-47. It was not, I'm, I'm, I don't think it was a military grade, but doesn't matter, with a scope. Not it was a, how is, the, is that called? Drugdanov, Drugdanov, no, it's not an AK-47. Uh, the sniper, the sniper rifle of uh, Kalashnikov. But nevertheless, AK-47 is not the same thing with a the scope. They're not accurate anyway. This is what, if you go online, you find out that AK-47 are not accurate. And they're not because they are supposed to be assault weapons, which is... <laughs> they're not like a pew, 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 pew. But hey, M-16s are perfect. See how they operate in Vietnam. <laughs> the Americans use AK-47s in Vietnam because their M-16s were jamming. <laughs> Anyway, that's a reality now with a proportion, obviously, small. So he was that. Then we have the surprise that only these imbeciles that accuse the other side of being violent and owning arms and guns and uh, they act or at least they're attacked. And you can say, well, just a second, maybe he's among the idiots. No, because the idiots, you know, uh, like the, the, the so-called far riders, they are under attack by the other guys who don't like their ideologies or the stand with whatever Ukraine are against it. Now, this guy wants to take care of him. They turn it into Ukraine as one point, you know, Trump. But he made videos, uh, uh, statements in a social media unrelated to Ukraine, saying the good and evil and something that he's going to be ha happy when Trump goes. That was before when Trump was still there as a president. So it's not only Ukraine, it was Trump's ideology. So that could make you think that it's someone who opposed the far right uh, Trumpers, uh, crazy mega, blah, blah, blah. So he must have been something else. Um, can't be a libertarian because libertarians are for liberty and they, well, you have the right to say this. I'm not gonna, you know, so it must be a far left or a lefty. Uh, they as the mass media always gives you this piece of information out of what they know, because they want, as Napoleon said, uh, you don't have to uh, lie, you just have to delay the truth when it doesn't really matter at that point. So the media now don't have to lie and say, well, he was not this, he didn't, they just have to hide it, postpone releasing it until it doesn't matter anymore. That is when people don't pay attention on the issue anymore. For instance, about two days or a day, I showed you the trending, the trending over there on Yahoo, nothing about Trump assassination, nothing the first ten. it was Tito Jackson, okay, uh, he was in the on the third spot right there, but Trump was not. Anyway, uh, not saying that that guy is not important, even though he's irrelevant uh, at this moment versus this one, and he was a singer in what Jackson 5 whatever he was over if he was and then I'm just saying and then you have uh, Donald Trump who's a current important event because it matters more uh, of who's singing some blah, 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 and who's going to be in charge of your life basically supposedly allegedly and reportedly so my friends we have the the Ukrainian uh, arming Ukraine chickens returning I think because this guy really wanted something and how idiotic you want to eliminate one person thinking that you kill the whole thing well i know you know you go straight to the head and cut the head and so on but this is america this is america interesting in two months twice on trump and nothing on anybody num, 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 num. 
Remember Scalia? Scalia? Not Scalia. This was the the just um, Scalia. It was was another right winger. That right winger, supposedly. I, uh, he was. Uh, they were playing. What they were playing? And the guy shot a few a few of them. He was a Bernie Sanders su supporter about ten years ago. The guy has cancer now. Um, Scalise, not Scalia. Scalia. Scalia is one of these guys. He's a uh, uh, he's he's not the um, uh, judge, the Supreme Court judge. He's a uh, Republican House member or senator. I don't even know one of these guys. Why? I don't care about these guys. These guys are weasel. But I, I knew about the incident. Again, a, a, a supporter. It doesn't mean that they, you know, Bernie Sanders is uh, guilty of anything. But these guys make it always like this. If this would have been reversed, this guy would have been, oh, he's a Trump supporter. Trump's message triggered this guy to commit this kind of idiocracy. It's like, okay, if I read the Bible and I go over there and I do something, it's because of the Bible. But they make these kind of connections with other books. Oh, he read that book, I don't know, 50 years ago. And now we make the connection that he acted upon that book. But in the meantime, he, he read about, I don't know, 50,000 other books. So this is the mass media for you. The mass media here is, as I said, system operatives. They keep the system. They make sure the system, the dynamics are the same, which is the guys in charge with the money. And then you have the politicians who get the donations. The guys with money have the mass media and they will promote politicians and whatever to keep us here. And the mass media is the operatives that keep the baboons thinking this or thinking that and shaping opinion. And then you have the politicians who will try to infringe of your freedom of speech and infringe on your right to know. That is, they will allow you to know how much they want you to know. That means, let's say, banning whatever media they don't like. They don't want you to, they protect you. Right? So this is the system. And then the, the system, the bureaucrats that are appointed by the politicians, helped by the interest, those guys appoint the right people who will write your curriculum for your children. We'll call all kinds of perverted ideologies and so on. That's how it works. Why? Because the guys in charge, they want to have a bunch of baboons that would work and shut the fuck up. That's their goal. All I want you, go to a job. They want you to work. If possible, I don't pay you. And they shut the fuck up. Don't rock the boat whatsoever. You get fired if you speak up more than if you fuck up at work. So if you make a mistake at work and let's say the company loses some money, it's not that bad for them as you talk about the management or the whole system. You get fired just like that. That tells you something. We want b quiet baboons, uh, mute baboons. They're busy toiling for us, giving us their energy in order for us to have our lives as we have them in charge of everybody else. Sounds like a matrix. So here it is, my friends. I predict will be more, not on Trump, on others that these guys, let's say you have um, Marjorie Green. These guys don't like her. Maybe she's against the Ukraine war. You're going to have some criminals somewhere in Ukraine wanting, let's say, if she would have any power to do something, right, in the house. And they will do something, I don't know. Remember what happened with Daria Dugina? You remember? Remember what happened with the other guy in uh, St. Petersburg? When while he was having a meeting with his followers, he was what, a social, a social, social media, blah, blah, blah. You remember? They brought a little bit present and the present brought more presents, surprises. So the same could happen here. And they will have the ability, ability including the drones. That's a danger. These guys open a Pandora box with the drones with a little thing like a one ball hanging. You can't defend it right now. You can't defend it. If someone knows your address, you're sitting duck right there. Um, what can we do? You can't do anything about the little drones with a little ball underneath. Look at Ukraine. And those are very, very inexpensive stuff and greatly available in Ukraine. And very small. That means they can stick it in their ass when, when they go on the airplane. Just kidding. All right. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I suspect that uh, things will escalate in the wrong way, unfortunately, for all of us. But maybe, I don't want to say it's a good thing, but Maybe that will wake up some the right people to organize. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.